Hello everybody, this is uh, Mario Ranchi and I'm a brand strategist, owner and founder of Manufacture and welcome to episode 4 of the Demystifying Brand Jargon series. So today we're going to talk about archetypes and what exactly are archetypes. So. There's a lot of misconceptions about archetypes. Some think archetypes are like stereotypes and, you know, stereotypes have a very negative connotation to them. You know, racism, all that crap. Uh, but archetypes are more about a universal belief or truth that uh, extends and transcends from cultures and uh, cultures, yeah, cultures and languages. So archetypes are used in branding uh, mostly to connect the customer with the company. So what do I mean by that? So customers look at what your values and beliefs are and if they align with those values and beliefs they're going to buy the product that you're selling immediately because they're aligned with your beliefs. So the most common archetypes are the hero, uh, the, the joker, uh, joker caregiver, uh, outlaw, uh, and uh, uh, king or creator, and innocent and the common man. So those are the most common archetypes. However, archetypes have more nuances to them and they're more, you know, subsets of that. So for example, you have the out the the outlaw. The outlaw could be a rebel, it could be uh, a maverick, could be even a pioneer, you know? So they're very subsets. So the main archetype can branch out into other archetypes that have a little bit more subtlety to them. And you can use that if you can really pinpoint down you know what you believe in through archetypes you know you do this first by identifying uh, the person who is like your customer or your user and then saying okay what is their archetype and then you say okay that's their archetype is my archetype aligned with that archetype if it's not then you need to do a bit more research on who your ideal customer would be or who your you know ideal users would be combining with those archetypes, aligning with those archetypes. So the main takeaway is to use archetypes for branding so you can align your company's beliefs and culture to the customers that come in. So then you're not serving to the wrong people and the right people come to you and give you business all the time so yeah that's it and thank you for watching uh, leave any comments below and I'll see you next time on episode 5